Hello, friends. I recently caught the flu, so my voice isn't great right now. Well, I don't know if you can tell. It sounds very nasally to me. So, this is a short video about micron and ink pens that I like to use, or just what I've been collecting over the past few years. High tech is great for note taking, but can also double as a fairly decent drawing pen. My only issue with this is that the ink is not water resistant, and also the ink flow is inconsistent after a while. The Muji pen I like more than the high tech. The line is thicker, but much more consistent. It almost has a vectorized sort of feel to the line weight. I've seen some folks use them for bullet journaling. The material is softer on the hands compared to the high tech, which has these pretty harsh edges on the sides. I like to work with it in my Hobonichi as well. As you will see in this video, I hold the micron pens at a specific angle, which blocks the camera so you can't see too clearly what I am drawing. I'm sorry! We'll definitely try a different angle in the future. The Copic liner is really hyped up, but I am not the biggest fan. I personally feel like the ink wears down too quickly. I do like it more than the Sakura Microns because it is a prettier black. But overall, I feel like I am paying more for the brand than the actual utility of the pen. You can see that this has a pretty fat tip, and it's because I've already killed off the 0.05 and the 1s, and I'm not looking to repurchase from Sakura because I found a cheaper alternative. If you do a large drawing or a lot of dark values, you will see that the ink has an almost acrylic brown sheen to it, and that bothers me quite a bit. This is my go-to drawing pen because it is cheaper, it is blacker than Sakura, and the tip is not as brittle as the Copics. They also offer 0.03 millimeter, which is the thinnest I've seen from Micron. I think I got mine for like $1.75 or something. I haven't used these often, but I know for character design, props, sets, and live observational sketching, these work much better than the other drawing pens, especially if you have a toned sketchbook like a tan or gray. If you are looking to apply to art school for animation or character design, that sort of deal, look into the Faber-Castells because they perform best when you draw with your entire arm and it allows more gesture in your sketches. I did some quick coloring using India ink. I'm still trying to get used to the medium, but it's a lot of fun. I hope this video was helpful in some way. If you have further questions or advice regarding drawing pens, please leave them down in the comments. Have a wonderful day or night and I will see you soon!